If you mount the Yaesu FT-818 or 817, the Doomsday Radio, in a vertical man pouch style bag, you're going to wind up putting a lot of stress on the cables and the connectors on the back of the radio and the tuner and your other accessories. The solution sometimes is just a couple of cheap pieces of plastic. Let's get over to the bench. Here is the solution that I had. A couple of Velcro straps wrapped around, leaves enough room for the microphone if you slide things around. And then I have these cables on the back side that kind of formed the pouch and I don't really like that idea. So I went to Thingiverse. Thingiverse has everything you could ever imagine for a ham radio, including the ability to 3D print some rails. And I have a 3D printer friend who hooked me up with these. Thank you very much. Let's get them installed and see how it looks. First, let's disassemble the, the madness here. And let's assemble some new madness. We're gonna need some screws and a screwdriver to get this job done. And I believe these are 2.5 by eight. So let's start with 2.5 by eight, they're Phillips head. I will get out my Kyrie's toolkit and a number one Phillips. Yep, number one Phillips will do the job. And so first we're gonna need to take out the old screws that this thing came with, and I will put them somewhere where I won't lose them. We're gonna have to figure out a solution for my dust covers. Okay, we're gonna very carefully put all of these parts aside so we don't lose them. Preserve the historic value of this radio for many, many future generations. And one of the really neat things about this 3D printed setup is the connection is dovetailed. On the rails I have for the 891, they just kinda sit next to each other, but this is dovetailed, this is awesome. I like that. And then they go on the side, just like that, which leaves room in the back to kind of square off the cable connections and room in the front to protect the knob. So let's get these installed. There's a little bit of schmutz left in the holes from the 3D printing, some artifacts, if you will. So I'm gonna pre-insert the screws. Those first two up front look fine. And then what can I do with the dust cover setup? That's too big to go in there. We're gonna forgo the dust cover lanyards for a minute. We will figure out a solution for them in the future. Okay, and there we go. They are slightly taller on the top and on the bottom so you can mount some accessories, which I happen to have some accessories, like the LDG Z817 tuner, which honestly, to tell you the truth, I love the fact that this is a plastic case and I love the fact that it is beveled because it makes it easier to handle. It makes it less of a pain on my equipment, et cetera, et cetera. So now where are my, so now I can take my old Velcro and use that again, but now I don't need such a large amount of it. Put some of that through there. I'm gonna try and go that way. Okay, so there's one that works out well. And now it's just a little tiny bit too big. And it's also now the wrong gender. How do we fix the gender problem? Okay, we're gonna have to do it that way. I'm, that's not the way I wanted to do it, but that's the way that it's gonna work. Don't tell Mrs. T.O. I stole her sewing scissors. So now we need to cable it in and see if that fixed the cable problem. So I have my cable harness here. This relocates the SO239 from the rear to the front. And then I have shrank down the interface cable for the Z817 cut it in half and then solder it back together, removing the middle pieces and then the cable from the tuner to the radio. So let's get those married up. Beautiful. There will be a link in the description down below for where you can get the 3D printed rails on Thingiverse and the screws that you'll need for it as well. Thanks to GearDown for creating this awesome design and thank you for being awesome. Check out this video next.